Hey everyone and welcome back to another Monday plan with me. So this week is going to be the last Halloween themed spread that I'm doing in my planner and I'm planning from October 23rd through to the 29th. The kit that I'm going to be using today is from Lucinda Charlotte Designs and it's the Pretty Little Liars Halloween themed kit. I loved Pretty Little Liars, I'm kind of sad that it's not on anymore so I definitely wanted to save this as my last spread. It does come with a lot of deco but it was rather big so I wasn't able to use some of it but I did try to use what I can. Also while I'm just flipping through and showing you guys this whole kit, the washi sheet isn't in here. I'm not sure why because it's there at the end but it must have been stuck to another page but this does come with a washi sheet which you will see. And I also purchased the double box which I purchased separately so this one doesn't come with the kit. So I'm going to start with the washi as I always do and what I've been doing a lot lately is if I've got the date covers I'll stick the washi above where they're going to go and that way when I trim off anything that's overhanging I've got enough to use at the bottom as bottom washi as well. Once I've got all the washi down then I can go ahead and put the date covers down. I know some of you are going to be wondering what shade I'm wearing on my nails. A lot of people ask me what colour I'm wearing. So this one is from Nails Inc. I can't remember the name of it exactly but if you guys really want to know I will leave it down in the comments. So I'm going to go in day by day and I'm just starting with a black to do header along with a checklist. So this week my children are on October half term so I'm going to be planning a little bit different to what I normally do. So I'm just starting with a checklist of things that I want to get done throughout the day. And then I'm putting down a today header because obviously I want to upload this plan with me. I don't think we've got anything planned for Monday so this should still go up Monday morning. If not I will put it up if we do decide to go out somewhere I'll put it up when we come home. So on every day I'm going to be putting a half box down but I'm leaving that blank because I haven't made any kind of plan plans to go out but I know we will be doing lots of stuff throughout the holiday so I'm just going to fill in each half box as we go and as we make some plans. So for Tuesday I put down a pink to do header and I put down my new food shop poppets that have just come into my shop and also a Halloween poppet because I need to sort out their Halloween costumes and a little housework poppet from the home life sheet. I then put down my today header and a full box. I've also got a payday on this day and then again I'm putting down a half box which I will leave blank. My daughter has got her mock exams when they go back to school so she does need to study and I'm just going to mark that down on every day. For Wednesday I started with a to do header because I want to spend the day designing or the morning designing so I took this sticker that came with a kit which has got a desk and a computer on, I took a solid piece of washi and another Halloween poppet from the Halloween sheet and just wrote down design. To block off some time in the morning I just put down my today header and a full box and I chose the one with Hannah on who looks gorgeous. Underneath I put a half box which I will fill in when I know what we will be doing and then my children have got homework to do so we're going to be doing it on this day and I just marked it down with an appointment label. Underneath I put a little coffee break sticker because I'm going to need one and then underneath there I put another piece of washi down and just write down study for my daughter to study. For Thursday I started with a to do header and I took a quarter box which I flipped up onto its side and I put two pieces of washi behind it. I then took this little work sticker that came with the kit along with a poppet from my work poppet sheet. Then I put down my today header along with a short to do list because I know I will have some things that I want to jot down to remember to do. I've also need to change the bed sheets, it's laundry day and it's also the rubbish bin collection day so I just put my header down first and then layered the sticker on top. Underneath I put another half, uh, the full box sorry and then at the bottom I put another appointment label for my daughter to study. My plan is getting so bulky that the writing kind of squished up and looks a bit like Evie but I know what it means. So for Friday I put down a to do header along with a page flag and it's a payday as well as I've got a bill due and then it's new release day in my shop so I actually used her new releases and used it for my new release. I kind of feel really bad but that's what I done. I kind of regret that now. Then I put down my today header along with a full box and then at the bottom 
I put my kind of little things. I put an appointment label for my daughter to study. I also have put a half box in case we do something and another piece of washi which I layered on a page flag and an Etsy symbol because I do want to make a new Etsy order. Next I just put down my headers at the weekend and then I used some of the washi to create a background behind the weekend banner. For the Saturday I just put down a checklist which I will fill in later in the week. I put a half box down with another poppet from the Halloween sheet because my daughter is going off to Prime Evil. And then I wanted to get the double box down and I was really nervous because I'd never stuck one of these down before and that was quite scary. But in the end I kind of just lined it up on the side and just went for it and stuck it down. I did trim the box down a little bit just so it fitted into the weekend boxes. But it turned out okay and I actually really like it so I will definitely be purchasing more double boxes. Going back to the Sunday I just put down my usual checklist which is from my shop <laughs> and then I need to plan next week so she had a sticker that says plan next week and also I took another piece of washi and the planner to mark down for my daughter to study. And then moving on to the sidebar, I just put down two pieces of washi to extend the full box that I'm putting down and I'm putting the full box down with Alison on top. And then underneath I just put down my habit tracker, another piece of washi and my second habit tracker. Next up I put down my next week header along with a heart checklist. I then put another piece of solid washi before putting a half box down because I used the double box in my spread obviously I've got a few full boxes left over so I just used one in the sidebar and then filled up the gap that was left with the leftover washi. You guys have seen me do this a lot because I tend to do this a lot in my planner if I've got a space left over I just fill it up with washi. Next I took my Halloween countdown sheet and I had to count the days because I couldn't believe that we only had a few days left before Halloween, my mind was not in the right place. So I just stuck those ones along the top and then I could use the deco throughout the spread. So as I went to put the deco down I realised that I hadn't trimmed off what was left over at the bottom so I'm just going to quickly trim off there. So the deco that comes with the kit is really quite big and I did struggle to use it. I did put the dollhouse down and some of the smaller bits. I really wanted to use the red coat but I just couldn't seem to fit it anywhere so in the end I decided not to use it but I have kept hold of it just in case I use it for a different spread. And then as this is my last full Halloween weekly spread I decided to use some more of the Halloween poppets and just stick them along the countdown. So that was it for this week's spread if you liked it then please do give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell notification too so that way you'll be notified of all of my uploads as usual i hope you have a lovely week and next week my plan with me will be up on tuesday not on monday so make sure you keep look out for that one thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week bye guys